7b, again, we're, do, we're finding an algebraic expression for this. Uh, the instructions say assume x is positive and that this is all defined. So if x is positive, we need to first figure out which quadrant the triangle is going to be drawn in. But because x is positive, the only quadrant where everything is positive in is going to be the first quadrant. So what we have to do here is draw a right triangle. And we're going to label it based on what you have inside here. So what's inside these parentheses, the inverse cosine 2x, that's what we're going to use to label our triangle. The outside one is what we'll do last in order to get our final answer. Okay, now this, since there's only one thing inside here, we'll make this 2x over 1. Uh, so that way we have two sides we can label on our triangle. Uh, then the definition for cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so the adjacent side right here uh, is what we put first. If it's adjacent over hypotenuse, that means that 2x is going to be your adjacent side and a 1 is going to be your hypotenuse. We have to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side and then finally we can uh, write the definition for sine and that will be our answer. We're going to do Pythagorean theorem again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And in this case, the c is 1 because that's the longest side, the side opposite the right angle, that's 1. Uh, and then we have a 2x that's, in, that's here that we'll put in. Now this problem, you've got to be careful because when you square the 2x, you have to square both things inside. So when you square that, you're going to get a 4x squared. So don't forget that you've got to square that one as well because that's inside the parentheses and you're squaring that. 4x squared plus b squared equals 1 squared, which is just going to be 1. We need to solve for b squared. That's 1 minus 4x squared. You're going to take the square root of both sides. Uh, and you do get, again, plus, plus or minus when you do that. But we don't have to worry about plus or minus in this case because we're in the first quadrant. Everything's going to be positive. And also, one thing is you cannot square root each of these separately. Because if whenever you have a minus or a plus sign between those, you're never allowed to break that up. So I can't take the square root of each of those separately. I need to leave it just like that in that form. So I'm going to have positive 1 minus 4x squared. Okay. Uh, and that would be my completed triangle. Now I just need to use the definition for sine to get my answer. Sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, I have the square root of 1 minus 4x squared uh, over 1. So opposite over hypotenuse, your angle would always be that one measured from the positive x-axis. And so your answer would just be this or you don't even need the one down below. It would, your algebra expression would just be 1 minus, it's the square root of 1 minus 4x squared and that's all you have to put for your answer.